Yo, island style See the cooking gone island wide <laughs> Bling a up Island style, yeah, the bush pot settings Everything there, yeah, I tell and stew chicken Island style, yeah, real finger licking You know, yeah, say it's better than KFC chicken Island style, what you cooking? Smell it from the mile, now everybody looking Vegetable cut straight from the farm Island style, bush pot, you want that to go on What we doing? Cook, 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 cook Island style, where I go, yeah Go, go, veg What's up people? Blessed morning man, give thanks for life, you know? Welcome back to Island Style Kitchen And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Island Style Kitchen Yeah man, they had us a chill out this morning at the garden I eat a piece of cane Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make salt mackerel and banana and yaman yeah, dumpling Yeah man, it's a Jamaican breakfast and a lot of Jamaican homes people love salt mackerel Yes, and salt mackerel can also be used to make salt mackerel rundown and other dishes if you want to learn how to make that salt mackerel rundown, I do have a video that's going to pop up. At any point, you'll see it somewhere up above here and showing you how to make that salt mackerel rundown. So you can click that link and I'll also put the link down below in my description. Or at the end of the video, you'll see the end card saying salt mackerel. You could go and watch that video and learn how to make salt mackerel rundown. Yeah man, so right now, I'm going to jump into the kitchen and show you how I make my salt mackerel and banana and dumpling and yam and all of the good things there yes viewers and subscribers these are the ingredients that i'm going to be using today to make the salt mackerel and banana and yam over here i have one large tomato i have one scotch bonnet pepper half a large onion two clover garlic i have half a dozen banana I have half pound of yellow yam and half pound of white yam. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make my breakfast. Over here, this is the star of the show, the salt mackerel yam. Yeah, so what I did, I soaked the salt mackerel overnight in a pot of water and that will help to remove the excess salt people. Yes you should soak your salt mackerel overnight to make the boiling process way easier and uh, i'm going to wash this with a with a lime and some vinegar to move that excess rawness from the salt mackerel because salt mackerel is very raw people all right viewers and subscribers i'm going to go ahead and peel the banana and the yam and uh, prepare all the vegetables to make my breakfast so just stay tuned and enjoy the show peeps My people, me be gonna play this up. You see the shoes by your feet, your cologne that smells sweet, and your car when you need put your shoes. Alright, peeps, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash my salt mackerel with some vinegar and some lime. Yes, people, salt mackerel is very raw. You have to wash it properly to get off that extra rawness. You know, funny enough, salt mackerel is something that I love, but don't grate my stomach. Salt mackerel tends to burn my stomach when I eat it. But I still eat it. <clears throat> what I do is when I'm finished, I drink some lemon water and that soothes it. Or I drink some celery juice. Come on, the celery juice is very good. So people, if you eat salt mackerel, if you love salt mackerel and when you eat it, it burns your stomach, you can go ahead and just drink some celery juice and you'll be quite fine. Now that I'm finished washing the salt mackerel, I'm going to put it on the stove to boil to get some more of that salt out of it because like I told you, salt mackerel is very salt and um, after soaking it overnight, that removed some of the salt but there's still salt in there so... I am going to just put it to boil right now. I'm going to squeeze some more lime in the water now. And I'm going to put it on the stove to boil. So I'm going to put the salt mackerel to boil, people. 
We're going to boil this for about 15 minutes. Anywhere about there. Yes, peeps. So I'm going to go ahead and peel my bananas. You can just make a mark like this, cut both ends off and make a mark like this. And put them in the pot to boil. But I'm going to peel these, be peeling these bananas today. So I don't know for some strange reason when I'm peeling banana I have to use my left hand and I'm, and I'm right handed it's kind of weird yes this way I'm comfortable I am done with the bananas, now I'm peeling my yam. White yam is one of my favorite yams to eat. Growing up in Jamaica, we used to go out the riverside and we find yam. You don't have to bite. Nice rent I am. But when you're in a foreign country, everything you have to buy. Nothing is free. And most of the times when I buy the yam, them, them don't even good. Tell the people. Alright, yellow yam now. Like yellow yam too, you know, but depends on what I'm eating. Like when I'm eating the salt mackerel or salt fish, I prefer to eat white yam. Alright peeps, so right now I'm going to be putting in some dumpling into the pot because my son wants dumplings so I'll make some dumplings special for him. I don't know why Jamaican people love flour so much. Jamaican people and then dumpling. If you're a Jamaican and you're watching this video and you love dumpling, just put dumpling in the comment down below. It's a dumpling. What I'm going to do now is put the yam, the yellow yam in the pot because the soft yam and the banana will mash out and I don't want them to mash out so I'm going to put the yellow yam in and the dumpling and let the give them a head start so I'm going to allow these to cook for about five minutes and then I'll put the soft yam and the banana in after. Meanwhile the dumpling and yam is boiling I'm going to go ahead and deboil the salt mackerel and give it a second rinse. So I'm just catching some water in here to cool it down because it's very hot and I don't want to burn my hands. Yes people, so I'm going to go ahead and debone the salt mackerel. So this main bone, I'll take this out and I'm going to put this back into the pot because it's I like that salty taste of that salt mackerel bone so I'm not going to throw it away. The bones at the back here I'm going to take those out and the bones underneath the ribs. So these bones are dangerous. So I'm going to pick out the bones from underneath the rib cage but the main bone I'm going to leave in the salt mackerel. all right people so now that i gave the yam and the dumpling the head start 
I'm going to put the soft yam in and the bananas and I'm going to allow this cook for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn off the fire so right now I'm going to start cooking up the salt mackerel so I'm going to start off with some organic coconut oil yes man I may use the good old reliable Dutch pot and food cooking at Dutch pot it tastes way nicer so I'm going to go in now with some garlic and some pepper some tomatoes and some onions Added a little bit more coconut oil to the seasoning because for some reason this the coconut oil just tastes nice when you eat it with the, the safia and this and the banana you know and mash it out in the oil or something like deal with it all right so i'm going to have the, allow these to saute for just a couple of minutes and then i'm going to throw the salt mackerel at it so i'm going to go in with my salt mackerel now I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper all right so now I'm just going to give this a, a little stir to combine all the natural seasonings and the salt mackerel together with the coconut oil and this is pretty much done if you notice I use a lot of onions and tomato in my salt mackerel here because I am um, love onion and tomato and I'm not going to make them cook too much because I want them to still have a little crisp with them you can also add some vinegar to this if you choose to I am going to add a tablespoon of vinegar to this Yes, people, and the salt mackerel is ready now, so I'm just going to turn this fire off. Alright, peeps, see? Dumpling float, that means this is ready. Alright, so I'm just going to turn this off also. And I'm going to plate this and show it to you. <coughs> yes, viewers and subscribers, everything is ready banana the dumpling and the yam the salt mackerel ready right now i'm going to back it up with some fresh fever grass tea or lemongrass tea yes viewers and subscribers here you have it island style kitchen breakfast we have some salt mackerel and banana and dumpling and yam yeah man i will back it up with two slices of avocado I also have a little scotch banana pepper to the side just in case we need more spice island style kitchen way really hard man style yeah man we have a cup of lemongrass tea right here aka mint tea yes viewers and subscribers thank you very much for watching this video if you like the content that you're watching Please like, share, comment and subscribe and turn on all post notification bells so you don't miss out on future videos from Island Style Kitchen. Island Style will make you smile. Tap ta da da ta da da da. Bush. Come join our experience each and every episode with Island Style Kitchen. Cooking in the bush. Yaksta the bush lads that. Wak laks kum. Skalai boom, bututum, bush. Hey yo! But it's scroll and clicking. Why you feel that like chef over there mouth is dripping? Because they had just subscribed to Island Style Kitchen, cooking in the bush. Yaks to the bush lad and dust that. Waklax come! Skalai boom! Take it away with the gravy.